Well, good morning, gang. Welcome back to Feral Woodcraft. My name is Joe. Thank you very much for stopping by today. It is good to have you here. We are here to talk about a flint and steel fire kit. It's pretty much an encompassing package. Everything you would need to get out and create a fire, at least the initial flame with flint and steel. This is made by Pat G. I don't have permission to use his last name, but there will be links in the description so you'll be able to find him easily enough. Anyway, before we delve down into this, let me start a fire, kind of show this off a little bit, get a, a little bit of something on for breakfast, hang around, and we'll talk soon. Let's talk about this fire kit. As you've seen, it does come in a genuine leather soft pouch, uh, what I would consider to be the classic style of like a woodsman trapper, that sort of thing. It does have the antler tine as a toggle here. It's very easy to use, just slide it out. Put that down. Stretch this open. And you get a nice round tin. Right off the bat, I wanna show this to you. It is a screw style tin. Not the pop-on style tin, which I greatly prefer the screw-on type. Sometimes if the threads get dirty, it can be a little bit troublesome to get them to stick, but I prefer it. It's much more secure if you're making char cloth, that sort of thing. You just know that your tin's gonna stay closed. It's not gonna inadvertently pop open on you, which I really like. He has already pre-popped a hole here, so you can easily make char cloth with this right out of the box. It's not a big deal. Let's uh, change the camera angle and I'll show you what's inside. When you open up your tin, comes jam-packed full of goodness. Uh, like I mentioned before, this is what I would consider to be a complete kit, complete flint and steel fire kit. Comes ready to rock and roll. You're ready to start a fire as soon as you open this up, as long as you have your other tender prepped and ready, that is. We'll go over this more in a minute because this is the, the main deal of this fire kit. And that is the striker. It is handmade by him. I believe this is 01 tool steel here. This is an old file he has repurposed into a striker. Should be 1095 or something like that. I'm not sure exactly what that, that file was made out of, but that's oftentimes the case in those files. Comes with several pieces of chaga. You can use that both for uh, tea or you could use it for catch a spark from. Does come with several pieces of chert. Now I can't say unequivocally that this is the exact stuff you would get if you ordered a kit like this, but it does come with chert and or flint some sort of hard stone to strike a spark with does come with jute twine and a good bit of char cloth now we'll point out here i put on a, a miniature fire class this past weekend and used about half this char cloth uh, before i ship this out to the winner oops did i give a hint away there could there be another giveaway anyway um I will make some more char cloth and jam pack this thing full with, with fresh char cloth. His char cloth works great as you saw in the beginning, catches a spark very well, very easily, holds that ember for a long time, doesn't burn up too terribly fast, so it's really good char cloth. 
I can't say exactly what it's made out of, um, but it feels like denim to me. And I know having talked to Pat that denim is his preferred material of choice for making char cloth. And it does come with uh, birch bark in here. Let's go ahead and demo this again. Just use his supplied materials. Piece of char cloth on top of this chert. I have to say I've never used chert like this before. It works pretty good. Get this at an angle where you guys can hopefully see the sparks. Get that out of the way so I don't catch the rest of that char cloth on. Simple as that. Let's get some more sparks going on here so you guys hopefully can see this. I'm trying to do this for your viewfinder and I'm tearing my fingers up. Let's try this old file. It does pretty good too. He's got an excellent heat treat on these. They just shower sparks as well as any other flint striker I've personally used. Anyway, this is pretty straightforward. Um, not a lot to talk about with this. It is a good, it is a nice package. I really like it. Um, as I've alluded to, there is a giveaway involved with this. This is the summer of giveaways. Pat was kind enough to send this out for me to show off to you, but also for me to give away to one of you guys. I really appreciate it, Pat. Thank you very much. If you want to purchase one of these folks, the link will be in the description on how you get in contact with Pat. He does not have a web presence at this time. Depending on where this goes, uh, he very well may do so, but right now he prefers just to sell and trade on Facebook. So I will leave the link there. Current price point on this, I know it was up in the air the last several times I talked to him, but it is going to be in the neighborhood of $45, give or take. But again, like I said, there is a giveaway involved in this. Thank you again, Pat. If you want to participate in this giveaway, you do need to be a subscriber to this channel. Also, you need to hit the comment section up. Tell me one thing you like about this kit. Or you can tell me more than one thing if you like, but tell me one thing you like about this kit and let me know that you want to be in. This video is pre-recorded. I don't know exactly what date this is going to go up or go live on. Check the date that it was published. Add seven days to that, and I, that is the date that I will announce the winner. Well, folks, there you have it. There's not actually not a whole lot to talk about when you show off a flint and steel fire kit. This one works incredibly well. The craftsmanship behind it, both with the leather pouch, the heat treat on the strikers, and just everything else he includes in the kit to make it a well-rounded kit. Like I've mentioned a couple of times, it is everything you need to get a flame going right out of the box or the bag, so to speak. Anyway, if you guys are in interested in the giveaway, follow the rules down below. I'll leave the rules in the description. I will also li leave links to Pat and all the information you need to round him up and find out all the options that are available, the pricing that you need, et cetera, et cetera. Those links will be in the description. But thank you again for being here today. I do appreciate your time very much. Folks, if you found this video helpful, found it enjoyable, please give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. If you enjoy videos such as this, please hit, hit that subscribe button right down here. And as usual, hit up that comment section. Let's talk about this kit, any other kit or piece of gear you guys want to talk about, or just have a discussion. Anyway, thank you again for being here, and I will see you next time. Hope you guys have a great day.